Since 1950, over 500 criminals have earned the dubious distinction of being named to the FBI's top 10 most wanted list, but only 10 of them have been women. What did these women do that was terrible enough to make them some of our nation's most feared fugitives from justice? Here's a look at the only women on the FBI's most wanted list. Ruth Eisman Shear in December of 1968, almost two full decades after the FBI's most wanted list creation, Ruth Eisman Shear became the first woman to appear on it. The crime? She and her boyfriend Gary Stephen Christ kidnapped a young woman named Barbara Mackle and buried her alive after demanding a half-million-dollar ransom. Hard to believe, but the story actually had a happy ending. Well, as happy an ending as a story like this can have. Eisman Shear and Christ kept Mackle alive inside her coffin via a breathing tube, and she was safely rescued after several days below the earth. Eisman Shear spent three months on the land before being caught and sent to jail. After serving four years in prison, she was deported to her native Honduras. Marie Dean Arrington in 1968, upset at public defender Bob Pierce for failing to win a case and keep her sons out of jail, Marie Dean Arrington went to his office with the intent to kill him. Pierce wasn't there, but his secretary, June Ritter, was. That was close enough for Arrington, who kidnapped Ritter, shot her multiple times, and ran her over with her own car. After being arrested, Arrington managed to escape from prison and, in 1969, landed on the most wanted list. It wasn't until December of 1971 that she was finally caught, and she eventually died in prison. Susan Sachs and Catherine Power this unlikely pair landed on the most wanted list together in 1970 after participating in a bank robbery in Massachusetts that left a police officer dead. Roommates at Brandeis University, Susan Sachs and Catherine Power were sucked into a harebrained scheme to steal money in order to buy guns for the Black Panthers. Instead, the job went bad and both went on the run. Sachs remained at large for five years before being caught and sent to prison. Power, on the other hand, completely evaded authorities until 1993 when, suffering from a guilty conscience, she finally turned herself in. She pled guilty to armed robbery and manslaughter and served six years in prison before being released. Donna Jean Wilmot in 1987, Donna Jean Wilmot and her beau Claude Daniel Marks earned a rare double spot on the Most Wanted list, becoming the first couple to do so. These two weren't exactly Bonnie and Clyde, though. During a scheme to blow up the federal penitentiary in Leavenworth, Kansas to free a radical Puerto Rican political figure, Wilmot and Daniel attempted to purchase explosives from an undercover FBI agent. Whoops! They went underground, changed their identities, and were living peacefully under assumed names when they finally surrendered to authorities in 1994. Shantae L. Henderson Kansas City gangster Shantae L. Henderson holds the record as the woman who stayed on the most wanted list for the shortest period of time. Added to the list on March 31, 2007 for murdering a man at a gas station, Henderson was caught later that same day. Authorities believe she was involved in at least five other murders, but have been unable to prove it. Still, one killing was enough to land her 17 years in prison, where she remains today. Brenda Delgado it reads like a bad telenovela, but the shocking crime that landed Brenda Delgado on the most wanted list in 2016 was all too real. Jealous of her ex-boyfriend's new relationship, Delgado hired hitmen to murder his new girlfriend, dentist Kendra Hatcher. Police say the suspected hitman, seen on this surveillance camera leaving the scene, was promised drugs in exchange for killing Hatcher. Known by the press as the jilted lover, Delgado fled to Mexico after the killing, but Mexican authorities, working in conjunction with the FBI, tracked her down and brought her in. Shanika S. Minor Later on in 2016, Shanika S. Minor became the 10th woman to land on the most wanted list after the shocking murder of pregnant neighbor Tamika Perry. After Minor's mother complained that Perry was playing music too loud, Minor went after Perry with an automatic weapon. Minor's mother managed to defuse the situation temporarily, but early the next morning, Minor shot Perry at point blank range in front of Perry's children. Both Perry and her unborn child died. Minor is being sought for her alleged involvement in first degree intentional homicide. Minor went on the run and was caught less than a week after being added to the most wanted list. Angela Davis One of the most famous cases in FBI history was Angela Davis. In 1970, Davis was a political activist and professor at UCLA when several guns she had purchased were used in a violent courtroom takeover that left a judge and three others dead. Since she had purchased the weapon, she was charged with murder. Soon, she went on the run and became a cause celeb, as many people believed she was being targeted for her political beliefs. John Lennon and Yoko Ono even wrote a protest song about her, as did the Rolling Stones. She was finally arrested and brought to trial, but a jury found her not guilty and cleared her of all charges. She has since written several books and remains a noted educator and activist to this day. Bernadine Dorn like Angela Davis before her, Bernadine Dorn was a political activist. She was also a domestic terrorist, leading the radical left-wing organization called the Weather Underground, which bombed the Pentagon, the Capitol, and several police stations in the late 1960s and early 70s. The group promises more attacks on the establishment around the entire country starting next week. 
The medium for this message was a tape recording, reputedly by the fugitive weatherman leader, Bernadine Dorn. In 1970, after going into hiding, Dorn landed on the most wanted list. She was removed from the list in 1973 after charges against her were dismissed, but she didn't emerge from hiding until 1980 when she turned herself in. After serving a year in jail, she studied law and spent over two decades as an adjunct in the Northwestern University School of Law. Thanks for watching. Click the grunge icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.